update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 404, Nasdaq's down 425, S&P's off 102, and we're going to have volume in this marketplace, folks, okay? If we go over and just look at the indice volume out here today, um, it's been basically high all day. Right now, you're at 736 million inside the NYSE. That's saying it's going to do over, you know, 1.1, 1.2 billion. Inside the composite, you're at 4.3. That's saying that's going to bang out at uh, somewhere about 5.5. Uh, 5.6 billion. We go look at the SPY. What do you have inside the SPY? SPY right now, you've already done 101 million shares. And just so you get some context in that, right? The last high we made, folks, was 86 million. You get an hour left, you're doing 101 million. You get another swing point here at 158 million. It's not going to do that, but uh, big, big numbers. And, you know, because of the depth of this run on the way down, um, you can expect a lot more selling into this close. Uh, you're down nine bucks uh, in the queues. Right now, you got 81 million shares. That's, that's also a uh, big volume in the last high that we had up here at 68 million. You know? So you can see they're getting rid of it in a, in a huge way. Gold, gold contract, uh, bottom line, does look like it's going to try to go break these lows. Uh, it's been a straight line move down today. You have like, it's 187 for 884,000 contracts. That's not a lot, but once you dig into this 1870 and we're at 1853, it's like that, that opens it up, man. It opens it up to like, um, 1832. It opens it up to 1802. Uh, and if we go over and you just see what's going on with that U.S. dollar, it has to do with the dollar. The dollar is not backing off its highs. You know, it hasn't been able to trust out of this. So two different things end up happening here. We have been up here eight days now, eight trading days. The longer that we do stay up here, the more probability that you will blow away from this area. So, and if we do, oh baby, it will be insane because what would happen then, the dollar would go to 121. The rest of these currencies are already having a hard time against the US dollar. You know, your emerging markets will just get absolutely smoked. They, you know, they've already got smoked, but you'd see a lot more. Let's go take a look at the bond because it's the, it's the interest rate structures that are definitely, you know, causing chaos. And out here today, yeah, you hit 117.08, you're at 118. No sign of strength yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs> 